So maybe if you came at 2022, maybe. And then again at 26 or 8. Yeah, this is actually a better I kind of see the jaw, like the teeth buds in the jaw are dense, you know, and sound blocked. But uh, their jaw bones even are. How big was he when he was born? Oh, there you go. Oh my gosh. See his arms gone? See, it's so much nicer, you know, like the view. Like now, at least he's laying in a position that you can scan easily. Like yeah. when, when you're in a sitting position, you just can't get a good angle. Mm -hmm. It's cute, you know, and a lot of people come at this stage for the peace of mind, you know, they just. Mm -hmm. Especially if you're not sick, like when you're tired, but some people don't really feel pregnant, they, they just want to see that, yeah. see the heart beating. I don't think so. Yeah, we, we had our first ultrasound, like an early one, at like six weeks. Oh, did you? Because I had some, some cramping and spotting. So. And uh, what could they see at that stage? Um, they wanted to make sure it wasn't the traffic. Oh, okay. But we just saw the little flicker. Oh, yeah. Did they do an endovaginal? Yeah. Because, you know, sometimes you might not even see it. Yes. Not, like through the abdomen, like this. Yeah. At six weeks. Yeah, they tried. But they yeah. And it's amazing. You know, you think, and how uh, amazing to people that you can see it here, you see the heartbeat before you can actually see yeah. the definable fetal pole. Yeah. It's the first thing that, that you know, very first thing that actually is formed. I like it when they're moving. I can see it move right away. You know, even I can see the heart beating too. But of course, every time in young, young pregnancies like this, I think, oh, you know, I just want to make sure this heartbeat, you know, whatever, everything's okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I did see the heartbeat, but I also immediately the baby moved. Yeah. You know, so like, oh, that's good. So do you guys shop here? Like, do you come into Country Creek to shop? Um, sometimes at Walmart. Yeah. We were actually in Lethbridge for the weekend, so we just came oh. through. Oh, well, that's perfect. Yeah. 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 Yeah, meaning having supper with my daughters after this. Well, one of them. Do you yeah, live here, or? Well, do you know what, I live uh, still in Calgary, and I still do varicose vein imaging in that office mm -hmm. with Dr. Mel. Mm -hmm. Three or so days a week. Mm -hmm. And then I have a place at Castle Mount. So I live up here for you know, half the time. Mm -hmm. But I'll, I, I don't think I'll live at Castle Mount, and I think what I'll do is, is just rent it out. Yeah. And uh, live in Panama. Mm -hmm. The dogs in Coleman. See that part pretty well now. I mean, you can see it better, you can hear it better. That's your baby brother or sister's heart. Mom? Well, little one, there's not much to see at this stage. I know it seems like a lot of money to put out, but the next time, you know what, let's just try.
just turned right over. And honestly, it's hard to tell until he started moving. And then I could, I could isolate that that was a baby. And also, I had to flip the image. It's clear and get a little bit of 3D. But yeah, there's this kind of looking down. to do a little bit of 3D. He was laying on his back looking up. You know, that's, that's perfect. Now he's laying a little bit on his side, so it's not as good. Um. It's almost like he's waiting. Now this is our thing. Okay, well. She didn't know how to reimburse you because you had hit